What's up, AHS? I'm Connor Barron. And I'm Adams Callahan. And you've tuned into AHS Tiger TV. This month's theme is Be Inclusive. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means understanding our diversity with events like the World's Fair coming up. Oh, yeah. Let's hear about that in the announcements. So my role is to gather the community. Um, I have a really big heart for diversity and culture and in my classroom I always teach about culture not as they old school they say the big C's and the little C's but it's my quote that culture is alive and it's everywhere. This event allows us to showcase the little tip of the iceberg, the surface culture. And my goal is to ignite hearts to go deeper into discovering, into learning. If you are an upcoming senior who would like to be a teacher's aide next year, please pick up the bright yellow form in the counseling office. Read all directions, have the teacher fill it out and sign, and turn the form back into the counseling office. Students who want to leave campus during the school day to work for the 2019-20 school year should complete the Office 365 online work-based learning application. The application link is available on Schoology and the Tiger Connect resources. Rising juniors and seniors interested in applying for technology after school program or maintenance assistant positions with Auburn City Schools may come by room 1308 to pick up an application. The theater department is in need of a piano player. If you can play the piano and are interested in helping out with the spring theater production, please see Mrs. Mock in room 3127 ASAP. The time you volunteer can count as service hours for either National Honor Society or IB CAS. A vaccination clinic for students will be held at Auburn High School on March 27th. Permission forms were handed out during Tiger Connect this week. The deadline to return forms is March 20th and may be returned to Tiger Connect teachers or to the nurse's office. National Honor Society applications are due Friday, March 8th. All information is on the NHS Schoology page. If you have any questions, see Ms. Swatz or Ms. Snyder. Attention, newest members of Mu Attention new members of Mu Alpha Theta. The t-shirts and membership certificates have arrived. Please stop by Ms. Turner's room 1135 to pick yours up before school, after school, or in between classes. AHS volleyball tryouts will be held March 24th through 28th. All necessary information can be found on our website, and all AHSAA forms must be completed prior to tryouts. We will be selling prom tickets on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays starting next week on March 4th through March 29th during Tiger Time in room 1312. Tickets are $50 each, and you can pay through My School Bucks. Guest forms will also be available during this time. Students who took the PSAT in October may see Mr. Tyndall in Office 1210 for score report pickup. Delilah, what's wrong? Though? Don't nobody want to play kickball with me. I'll play with you. Really? Yes. How many okay. people do we need? We need 8 to 11 people. Okay. okay. Let's mm -hmm. go run X. Okay. okay. Man, I really wish we had something else to do during Tiger Time. Yeah, I wish we had something like March Madness for the school. Yeah. So boring. Did y'all say something like March Madness? Yeah. 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 Well, guess what? We're having a kickball tournament that's like March Madness. Y'all want to play? Yes. Yes. Yay! <laughs> If you're interested in doing something in Tiger Time, come join our kickball tournament. There'll be an interest meeting March 19th during Tiger Time in room 1141. All money goes towards the Children's Hospital in Birmingham. The student team that wins will play the teacher team Friday. We ready! Uh -huh. We ready! What's up, AHS? I'm here at Louis on Moore's Mill uh, doing our first ratings of this year. So here we go. 
we go. One bite, everybody knows the rules. It's pretty good. Um, not the best, but uh, first rating of the year, I have to give it a 5.7. Tune in next week to see where I'm heading next. Thanks, guys. Now to Kate with a sneak peek into Miss Anel's classroom. Adams, just because you're an anchor this week doesn't mean you get to skip sports. Yeah, I know. So let's take a look at the sports events coming up this week and next week. Awesome. Let's see the sports. The Auburn men's golf team hosted a tournament this past weekend at Auburn University Club. They hosted a dinner Friday night to honor Joe King, who used to play for Auburn High. The boys finished fourth overall in a tough field of play. The next tournament will be played this Thursday on the 7th in Smith Station. Okay, so this is your second time here on Target TV as an anchor. So this is the part where I run away. Okay, so are you gonna go? Oh yeah. Welcome back AHS to this week's AHS Got Talent. This week we will once again review the bracket and its layout so far. From two weeks ago, Anna Marie defeated Caroline 73% and 27%, while Luke won with 79% last week. As you can see, the Elite Eight is underway with two contestants solidifying their place in the Final Four. It is March, after all, and all the madness will continue after spring break. This is Connor Barron signing off. Let's go. The Elite Eight. I'm excited. You know who's going to win, right? No, who? Me, all day. Yeah, okay. Let's see the PSA this week with Harper. Hey, I'm Lucas York. And I'm Harper McGowan. And, and you're, you're watching, watching HS, HS Teens React. React. Action! What did you just watch and what did it symbolize? We just watched a video about like mental health and you can't always see when people have mental health issues. You know? mm -hmm. Mental health is 
a very common thing now. Why do you think it's not often talked about? I think there's just a stigma around it about like and people don't want to ask for help because they don't want those ideas that other people have about mental health to influence the way that they see you know someone they consider their friend right how do you think we can encourage talking more about mental health in our community um i think by just being open about it and not like being judgmental when someone comes to you about a problem that they're having not like invalidating anything mm -hmm. that someone says they're going through I got this one. All right, take it away. Not a Luke with wacky weather. Hey, I'm Lucas James York. Have a good spring break. I'll see you when I get back. Have fun. Come on. I mean, you did it again, Luke. And Anna Marie did it again with this week's community coverage. Auburn, Alabama hosted the annual Mardi Gras Parade in downtown Auburn this past Saturday. People from all over Alabama came to support all those who participated. The parade consisted of many organizations, businesses, and groups from the Humane Society, Auburn University, Tiger Towing, Tiger Limo, and our mayor, Ron Anders, and several more. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good spring break. Thanks, Anna Marie. Have a good spring break next week, guys. Signing off, I'm Connor Barron. And I'm Adams. Go Tigers.